All right, guys, y'all, we're back. Check it out. So we moved the uh, toolbox right here from out from over here, and then look what look what we found. We found a uh, <laughs> an LED like open sign. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. Um, pretty much what I did was uh, I kind of went around the room. I found some random totes and stuff, and I just set them up here. I have not been through any of them, but I figured it might make it a little bit easier so you guys can see fully how many totes there are. But we found some totes here from this big tool thing. I don't know if there's anything in it. Some boxes and all that. So let's just kind of dig through it, I guess. <clears throat> I'm gonna say about five dollars. What does it say? Backgammon? Maybe a little backgammon thing? Oh yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. It's like leather almost? No. I don't know. It looks old. But uh, looks like they're trying to maybe sell it at a garage sale. I mean, I, I don't really know. <clears throat> All right. You gotta love these totes right here because you never know what's inside. Close. Found the thing to that oster thing. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Made in Japan. That might be, that might be worth something. This stuff might kind of dig it out a little bit. A car charger. Something. This thing. Ah. Ah. Okay. We're not in that. <laughs> Sometimes the simple things are what what you need to do to open something. All this <coughs> personally, guys, but there is this thing. K's collection. I don't know. Oh, wait. It's an eyeball. It's an eyeball. Oh, didn't scare you, okay? No. <laughs> She's like, eyeball, look at that. Um, ooh, yeah, that's a Genesis game. Yeah, that's a, that's a Sega Genesis game. I don't know what game, boy, hold on. I don't know what game it is, but yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Can you imagine us finding some video game? Oh wait, oh, what is this? It's like a, I don't know, it's two. Oh, play, play, uh, PlayStation 2 manual. There's some video games in here? I want some video games. You can't just toy with my emotions like that, man. Okay, well. I guess no video games, unfortunately. But nothing really in this tote, you guys. Unfortunate, but you know, this unit's just playing with my emotions. One of the easiest things to sell, you guys, is video games all day, every day. Ooh, what's this? Alright, well, there's that. We can't show that. A little analog pass through DTV converter box. Might be worth something, I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. My question is, though, is why keep. Why keep all this stuff, man? I don't get it. Got some plugins. Is this Star Trek? That's Star Trek, isn't it? Mmm. Some random cables. like it's absolutely nothing again <laughs> all right well i had all this stuff set out for you guys hopefully to find something crazy but that's not the case with these two it's got a little bit of weight to it not too much and i'm guessing this is gonna be christmas stuff am i dressed up as santa Ooh, what's this uh, ornament more ornaments Ooh, what's this is this a Department 56 thing? Bro, I love Department 56 if that's what that is. I don't think it is though. I don't know what that is. It just says cafe. Usually Department 56 has it on the bottom. Little porcelain house. There's another one here. 
Made in China. There's a village. Genero store. Genero. Wait, what is Gin Arrow store? What is Gin Arrow? Gin Arrow? So yeah, so these are made in town. Yeah, I don't think these are Department 56. They might be something different. Oh, here we go. Badcock. Don't you like Badcock stuff? So this right here is the old uh, Army uh, uh, ammo canister. So it doesn't feel like there's anything in, that, in here, but it does look like somebody uh, painted it. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, no, 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 maybe it's just dirt. I don't know. But I don't know how much these go for. Maybe 10 bucks. I don't know. I really have no idea. Five bucks. But there's that. I feel like I'm striking out right now, you guys. Alright. Oh, looks like there might be some tools in here, maybe. It says Craftsman. It's kind of faded. Alright, what do you think? What do you think's in it? Tools. Tools! Yep. And there it is, right there. Oh, there you go. It's a knife. Um, yeah, not really any good tools. Yeah. I might buy that at a yard sale, I don't know. Alright boys and girls, we are striking out. So I saw this box inside this and there was a lock on it, but I don't know. I'm just kidding. Don't hurt me. It's not a box. What the heck is this? It's a speaker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see what I saw in there? No. <gasps> the Xbox 360. Get an Xbox 360. Oh. Dang. You gotta be kidding me. I got all excited too. This is trash. Might be able to sell it for parts though. Yeah, I might be able to sell it for parts, but well, that's everything in there. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. I got all excited about the Xbox 360 and stuff. Dang. All right, well that's unfortunate. Um, eh. You gotta be kidding me, man. I don't think there's anything in this because it feels light. And no. Somebody might want the case, maybe. A couple bucks. I don't know. I really, I really have no idea. Oh man, we are striking out right now. I mean, obviously, we're making money on this unit. It's like, you know, I want to make this exciting for you guys. I did see this. This looks pretty cool. It's painted. I don't know anything about paint, uh, paints and stuff like that, and paintings. But I did see it say February 15, 1991, and according to this, it says Lynn Priestley Peppers. So maybe we can look that up. Don't know. If it's gonna have any value. Well, I mean, it could. I guess maybe. I don't really know. This is what it looks like, though. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. And then there's this one. Randomly sitting in the bag with that bananas. Yep. Carrots. Sure. Apple. Sure. Glass. Glass. And this says March 1991. Lynn Priestley carrots, bananas, tomato. That was an apple. Yeah. So I don't know. Might be worth something. I don't know who Lynn Priestley is, but. Who knows, maybe it's worth a hundred million dollars. What, what was this? Anybody know that is? What is that? Come on! You knew it would do that. I, I did not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Stop. What does it do? I don't know, but stop. Mm -hmm. wow. So mean to me. Oh, that's supposed to know. I'm glad I married my wife. She keeps me in check. Oh, this looks like a good box. Okay, maybe our luck is changing. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do one thing at a time. Get a little wrench set. 
Ah. Oh yeah, that's a big one in there. Well, I mean, it's obviously not complete, but it might be in the toolbox. That's pretty cool. What's in here? Ooh, look at this. Do you snap on maybe? No, Craftsman. I mean, Craftsman is decent at this. That's pretty cool. Because they go over here. Oh. We'll just set that over there. You got 4% left. Okay. What is this? Perfect. Propane heater? I don't know. It's kind of cool. Look at that. We got a jack for a car. And then we got a black and decker. Power drill. Got a little thingy here. Hammer time. And then we got this thing. Sander. Cool. Like I said, a lot of stuff will, will, definitely, will definitely sell. But uh, if you guys give us one sec, we're going to change out the battery real quick. Alright guys, the camera cut off. We were uh, getting ready to say we got to change out our battery because it was at 4%. For some reason it cut off at 4%. But uh, yeah, we got to change out our battery real quick. But on to the next. This is a little heavy. I don't see anything of crazy value in here to be honest. Just some grinding wheels, some kind of shoe mocker built for maintaining. I don't know. There you go, a little restoration light thing. Got some, got some of these things. Polishing pads. Bunch of nails, bunch of nails in here. Just random miscellaneous stuff. Watson Hornet Killer, there you go. Cleaner. Oh. I get amused by the little thing, do I? There you go, this is spray paint. Other than that, you guys, nothing, man. This is, uh, so as far as, if you look at it with, with this storage unit, for stuff I have to deal with, it's not so much. It's mainly going to be you behind the camera. You're going to do a lot of work. I think I might be chilling for the next week until that next storage unit, which is a feels good moment, you know? Oh, look at this. Somebody might buy that. Clean it up a little bit. Oh, it says Italy. It says Italy. That might be worth something. I might do some research on that. It's a little scratched up. What does that say? Scarface. Scarface? Oh, what does that say? Universal Studios. Huh. That might be worth something, maybe. And then what is this? Slow. It's a bulletin board. Oh. Very cool. What's this? Miromatic electric percolator? Where's that? Made in the USA? That might be worth something. What does this do? Oh, it's like a little 600 watt fuse in here. It's like a big fuse. Huh. I don't know if that's worth it in here. Maybe. Put a soul comp on the screen. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Guard. No? Okay. It says uh United States Marines. The blade is a little loose, but it says it's a Tomahawk XL1498. I don't know, maybe it's on there, I don't know. On uh on eBay, we'll see. Some pads. That look old? No? Little elephant. Look, Mr. Frodo, it's an olifant. <laughs> Image printed in China, 2006. A little vintage. Almost. And uh, that's, that's everything in this, box, in this box, you guys, which is 
unfortunate, but I mean, this, I mean, there's a few cool things in here. Like this thing right here might be, could be worth something. But it does say Italy on it. Couple more boxes here. You know, this might be all the aquarium stuff. Ooh. Oh, we got a big old hammer. That thing's big. Oh, oh. Yo, I thought this was a Game Boy Advance case. <laughs> it looks so similar. Like from the back, you know, with the blue trim. Oh my goodness. I got so excited just now. But, ooh, look at that. That is, uh, look, brand new. Ain't never been used. Look at that. Okay. Might be worth something. Definitely finding some tools. Not in there. Yeah, this is all the aquarium stuff, you guys. Yeah. Not gonna bore you guys with that. But that's that's pretty cool find. And yeah, if you guys look over here, this is heavy. Yeah, looks like there's just gonna be a bunch of books in this one, but there might be some old stuff in here, man. Look, look, look at this. The red lane. Believe it or not, old books will set ooh. Yeah, old books will sell you guys depending on what it is this says published 1912 that I mean, I mean some of this stuff might be worth something for 1912 1944 yep copyright 1944 this book has not been condensed its bulk is less because government regulations prohibit use of heavier paper <laughs> government always trying to control everything huh look at that the Merc manual. So yeah, some of these books, we'll, we'll definitely look at some of these books, man, because these books look old. 1800? Is that right? This copyright, copyright 1894. That top one says 1890, not 1800. Oh, yeah, you're right. 1890, 1894. That could be old. So, like, I'm not really into books, but, like, this the... Oh, what is this? The New Day Arithmetics? I have gloves on. This sucks. Oh, yeah, 1931? Wow. Okay, so, like, this would definitely be something to... To go through. Obviously, the quality or the... Damage is already kind of done to it. Look at this. I have no idea what that says. Fine. Okay, but that's pretty cool in my opinion. And then the suitcase. It had a little weight to it, so I put it off to the side. Brand new scale, Health Smart. Might be worth something. Alright. Something in there. What are these Pumas? What are they called? Yo, look at that. Suede Chemical Calm. And. Oh, they're actually in there. Wow. I thought they were going to be like different shoes, but wow. Yo, look. This thing's never been worn. Though these might actually be worth something. This thing's, a, this thing's a brand new Puma Suede. Yo, that's. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so is there a price tag on these things? No, no price tags. Might be, might be worth twenty. It could be worth forty. Ooh, doll. Okay, see now, th now this is what we were looking for right here. Something, something like this. And look at this. It's a food. It, oh, can we keep it? No. We can't keep the doll. No. Come on, you couldn't imagine me sitting in my bed holding the doll like this. No. Quit being weird. Come on. Look at her. She's so beautiful. All right, so. Yeah, she even comes with a stand and everything. So what is this called? Just dolls. And her name is Nicole. From 1993. Well, that's really cool. And it might be worth something. <laughs> Yo, this thing just freaked me out. 
Look at this. Yo, she literally just freaked me out. You just lost her shoes. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's another one. Oh, she's all dirty though, look at that. Got the Bible. Look, they're doing voodoo stuff with it. Charlie doesn't like voodoo stuff. Copper scroll. Jerusalem. Oh, and we got another one. It's a baby though. Okay, let's see. Got, oh, got a nickel. Here you go, baby. In with the haunted dolls. Alright, so this was a really cool. This is really cool. Let's look at this, the uh, toolbox. So, this right here, what pulled out from that corner, I have not looked into, into any of it. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously, this is on top, so it looks like it is full. Um, just random cutting stuff. Nothing. Crazy, look at this Ford Motor Company. 